Look, the big debate that's going on right now, whether it's insurance companies or retail or banks, is automation, particularly robotic process automation. I mean, boards and CEOs are getting super excited about this because it's like, it's like magic. You can take a person and replace it with a line of code. But is that really what the future is asking us to do? A little while ago, I visited a city called Hyderabad in India. It's a fascinating city. It's where many Fortune 500 companies have outsourced their global operation centers. So what you see here is the back office of uh, ANZ Bank, which is a big bank in Australia. Some genius thought it'd be a good idea to give the robots that they were now investing in their own desks with the word robot on it. I struggled to see how this would be good for morale. I mean, can you imagine you turn up every day and you see your friends and colleagues slowly disappear to be replaced with empty chairs with the word robot on it? I think you would very quickly lose your enthusiasm for the future. But it's also a mistake because to me, at some point, we're all going to use the same RPA software. It's not going to give us any real advantage. So the real opportunity is not automation. It's asking ourselves, when we automate, how do we also elevate the people in our organization? How do we take that time where they used to spend on something that wasn't as important and now free it up for them to do something more interesting? If you think about it in a way, organizations are just a collection of decisions. But there are different types of decisions and they have different implications for technology. I mean, there are what I call first order decisions, uh, which are obvious candidates for automation because they're uh, easy to identify and to document, they're repeatable, uh, it could be about provisioning a new customer or ordering more inventory. They're deterministic in the sense that they're rule-based. If this happens, then this should be the response. Seriously, no human being should be doing this work today. This is exactly where you use automation. But there are some other kinds of decisions, you know, where you have lots of data. It could be about identifying fraudulent transactions or, you know, other, you know, updating your rate cards when the Fed changes their interest rates. I mean, there, there, there's some element of uncertainty here where you want to make sure that you can experiment with deep learning and AI to generate recommendations, but you still want human beings involved. Not to check the machine, but to provide context and transfer intellectual property into the systems you're building. But then there are always gonna be decisions which are called third order decisions, which are complex and nuanced and sophisticated. How do you reinvent your customer engagement strategy? Uh, what are the true risks facing the organization strategically in the next five to 10 years? This is not something a computer can answer, but if you free up more of your time on the things that don't require your input, you have more time to focus on the things that really matter. And this is where true productivity comes from.